Welcome to our deep dive into the world of medical imaging. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from a developer who has created a JPEG compressor and decompressor. They've run into a puzzling issue when trying to decode lossless JPEG streams in DICOM files. Let's explore the intricacies of this challenge together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's begin by understanding the issue with decoding lossless JPEG in DICOM files. DICOM, which stands for Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine, has specific requirements that may not align with standard JPEG compression. Your JPEG compressor and decompressor works well for standard JPEG files, but DICOM files may include modifications or parameters that affect how JPEG streams are interpreted. When decoding the JPEG stream, you mention that your code fails at specific pixel values. This suggests that the Huffman coding or the differential values might be misinterpreted due to DICOM-specific encoding. To address these issues, you should investigate the DICOM file's metadata. This metadata may contain crucial information about how the JPEG data should be processed, including any non-standard extensions. Finally, consider using existing libraries or tools that are designed to handle DICOM files. These tools often have built-in support for the peculiarities of DICOM JPEG encoding, which can save you time and effort. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The first pixel's value is calculated to be Naga 324. Initially, the amplitude is decoded as 30768, but with the predictor set to zero, the actual value becomes 63536. This is an unsigned value. The pixel representation indicates the values are in 2's complement, making the signed value main at 2000. After applying the rescale slope intercept of minus 1024, we arrive at minus 3024. However, there seems to be a sync issue with the codec, as it doesn't find the expected amplitude near row 179, leading to a shift in subsequent rows. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.